And Mark Kelly is scheduled to bring his U.S. Senate campaign to Phoenix later today. He is not a newcomer to the public stage, thanks to his national work on gun safety with his wife, Gabby Giffords. But he is a rookie candidate, so it's the first chance for Democratic voters here and the media to look him over. So, what will they see in Mark Kelly? Joining us for our left-right debate, on the left, political analyst Chris Hurstam. He served at every level of state government when he was a Republican years ago. And on the right, Lorna Romero, executive director of the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industries, Chamber, Chamber Business News, former campaign spokeswoman for Senator John McCain, and a former advisor to Governor Jan Brewer. Welcome back to Square Off. Good morning. A wealth of experience here today. Uh, let's go to Mark Kelly. He raised $1 million online in the first 24 hours of his campaign. He's a former astronaut, former combat pilot. He's Gabby Gifford's husband. Is he a Democrat's dream and a Republican nightmare? Chris. I think he's the, the most uh, nightmarish for Republicans in a general election. I really do. You just, you just went through his credits. You'd, also, we could throw in both his parents were police officers. He's an engineer. I mean, talk about a renaissance guy. Uh, and he is a new candidate, so he's going to have to deal with that. But he also doesn't have a voting record. Uh, which, which makes it easier, too. Uh, I think Kelly is, is very strong. 20,000 contributions in less than two weeks he's gotten. Um, I think he would be the toughest general election opponent for Martha McSally, but there's going to be a primary. There's going to be a primary. Hold that thought. Okay, how tough does Mark Kelly look? He seems to match Martha McSally, assuming she makes it to the general, uh, you know, it, on the resume. How tough does he look? He's definitely a strong Democratic candidate. I think you can tell from um, his introductory video the way, the type of campaign he's going to run, and it's very Kirsten Cinema esque. When you watched that four and a half minute long video, you understood who Mark Kelly was in his story, and you didn't get a sense that he was a Democrat. When you know, I don't think he mentioned that word once. Right. And so it was incredible to see the tone that he set because obviously there was there's um, a path forward for statewide Democrats that they learned this past election cycle, and that's not following the David Garcia model that we saw last year. It's following what Kirsten Cinema did, Katie Hobbs, um, now Superintendent Kathy Hoffman, where they kind of played that center road, and it seems like that's the strategy he's going to take. So, I mean, he's, he's a legit candidate against Martha McSally. Well, uh, one big difference, you mentioned the video. He did not mention gun safety in the video, and yet that is what he is identified with. That is correct. And so will that be a hurdle for him if he makes it to the general, you know, running as a gun safety advocate in what's perceived as a very gun-friendly state? And I think that's going to be the interesting question is how he handles the gun safety um, debate and question. But I think what's going to be even more important is how Republicans use that against him. I mean, there's a strategic way to bring it up and then there's a not so strategic way to do it. Um, because very few people who are gun safety advocates, such as Mark Kelly, have a personal and compelling story about it. So it all depends on the context that it's brought up against him. Um, but we'll, we'll see how much he brings it up on his own during his campaign. Okay, I find this part of his campaign uh, fascinating. So what is the way to bring it up strategically? I, and, and that's a very good question. Yeah. The way, I mean, you can't attack him for it personally because it is a personal issue to him. Because the way that he can respond, it's pretty simple to say, my wife was nearly assassinated years ago and to talk about that story and why he's reached the policy decisions that he has when it comes to gun safety. But if it just comes off as they're attacking him and being insensitive to what he and his wife went through, I think that can backfire on Republicans. Okay, Chris, another candidate. Does Kelly need another candidate? He's never run, as far as we know, for anything before. Does he need a primary? I don't think he needs it. I think most, most people would like to be like Kirsten Cinema, who was basically unopposed and didn't have to spend a lot of money in a primary. So I'm sure they would want a clear field when I say they, the Kelly supporters. But, but let me just tell you, uh, on March 12th, Kate Gallego is going to win the mayor's race in Phoenix by at least 10 points. And shortly thereafter, Ruben Gallego, our congressman from Arizona, is going to announce his candidacy, and that primary will be a barn burner. Tell us why. For, for because folks you're, who going don't... To, you're going to, all, all the positives that we've already said, 
both of us have said about Mark Kelly will make him a very strong candidate. But Ruben Gallego is very progressive, is, is, has taken a strong stand against Donald Trump, and uh, that plays well in a Democratic primary these days. Uh, the, the Democratic Party definitely leans left, and I just think it'll be a robust primary. They'll both have to spend a lot of money. The day, though, uh, of being able to clear a primary field is over. With the social media and opinions all over the place, you're going to see issue-oriented primaries now for, from now on. I personally believe, though, that whoever wins the Democratic primary, whether it's um, Kelly or Ruben Gallego, um, they're going to defeat Martha McSally because she is has embraced and is connected at the hip with the worst president in U.S. history. Okay, you made two big, two big predictions in there. Okay, I have Lorna. to disagree with three things. Well, the latest one that he said, I, I disagree with the statement that if Ruben Gallego gets out of the primary that he's single-handedly going to defeat Martha McSally. I, I don't think the state statewide is progressive as Ruben Gallego. I don't think that's the case. Um, but I do um, agree that if there is a primary between Ruben Gallego and Mark Kelly, it'll be an interesting um, comparison between two candidates, one who has been in public service for a long time and has a record, and one who does not. And I think that's going to put Mark Kelly in an interesting situation given that Ruben Gallego is so progressive. All of these national progressive issues that are coming up with AOC, New Green Deal, et cetera, now Mark Kelly's going to have to answer to those and you know, be on the record of how do you feel about X, Y, and Z progressive policy issue, which may not be the case if he doesn't have a I'd rather okay. be. I'd rather be doing that Got to be Martha McSally who's answering for Donald Trump. Got to end it there. Great discussion.